NBC. We begin with breaking news from the Middle East where there are reports ISIL has executed the Japanese journalist Kinji Goto. According to Side Intel Group, which monitors jihadist social media, a video has been released online purporting to show the beheading of hostage Kinji Goto. For more on this, let's go live to Stephanie Freed, who is in Amman. And Stephanie, uh, can you verify any of this? Well, I'm here outside the Japanese embassy in Amman. Um, in terms of verification, from what I understand, um, the U.S. government, the State Department, they're working right now to confirm or to verify the authenticity of that video as well. Certainly the Japanese here, we're seeing a flurry of activity outside the embassy, cars, diplomatic cars coming and going. I understand that the deputy foreign minister of Japan has just left in viewing the video, seeing the video that was released uh, of what is purported to be the beheading of uh, journalist Kenji Goto, we see uh, the same person, John, or where he's been coined as Jihadi John, uh, who is standing, he's talking before the beheading, and he is blaming, squarely placing blame on Japan's Prime Minister Abe for the fate of Kenji Goto. Again, this has not been confirmed, the authenticity, uh, but there is the widespread belief, obviously, here from the flurry of activity that we're seeing that, yes, this is authentic. And uh, the uh, journalist who was taken in October by ISIL uh, has now been killed. Stephanie, um, have any of the journalists there actually seen the video behind you? Um, I, I watched the video, to tell you the truth. Uh, I didn't watch to the bitter end, um, but I did watch the video. Uh, it's very much like the previous videos that we've seen, um, which, again, this masked person, this masked ISIL person with the same accent, that British accent, who's talking, who's blaming the prime minister, uh, of Japan for the fate of the journalist, um, saying that the blood is on the Japanese government's hands. Um, and uh, it looks very similar, same setting, same background as, as the other videos uh, that I've seen of similar, the, the, the very exact same, the beheadings. Um, and certainly the people here would have seen them as well. Of course, people are very busy now and, and caught up in seeing what's happening behind me. and and with the Japanese officials that are coming and going. Um, but again, in terms of the video itself, it's, it's, it's very much exactly like the other videos that we've seen up until now of, of beheadings. Okay. Well, Stephanie, two other quick questions for you. One, um, there was some pushback against the two Japanese who were, who were captured among the, the, the people in Japan. Many of them felt like they were, in fact, responsible for where they ended up. I want to ask you more about that and also about the fate of the Jordanian pilot at this point. At this point, the fate of the, I'll start with the last first, the fate of the, the Jordanian pilot is unknown. Um, of course, we, the, the, all of these moving parts were contingent one upon the other. ISIL was saying uh, that they would release the Jordanian pilot if, if a uh, prisoner being held here would be released. There, but Jordan wanted a sign of life. There was a lot of pressure on Jordan. Um, they didn't get a sign of life of the pilot. So uh, essentially, right now, it's an unknown factor. And there's been some question here in Jordan of whether the pilot is even alive, which is, again, why the Jordanian government wanted a sign of life before they were willing to start to engage in this sort of swap prisoner for prisoner. Um, in the sense of these journalists um, that have been captured and, uh, and the fate of these journalists, similar to others, Japanese government, perhaps feeling guilty, but the pressure in this situation at the end really has come upon the Jordanian government. And now, uh, depending upon the fate of that pilot, because Jordan's government has threatened that if something happens to the pilot, they're going to start executing ISIL-affiliated prisoners being held in prisons here, uh, particularly the prisoner that, that they're asking to be released. Um, so it, this is all still active, fluid, and, and of course we're waiting for confirmation that Stephanie this video Free, is Stephanie thank you so much for the report live in Amman, Jordan, obviously at the Japanese embassy where the, the news is just breaking there.